Hey guys, it's Elias. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here and you like car stuff, be sure to hit that button below to subscribe. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get these awesome gauges provided by K-Tuner on our stock factory Type R radio. So let's go ahead, get started. It's a pretty easy, you know, few steps and I'll show you guys exactly step by step how to do it. Now what you're going to need for this install is a laptop, a USB A to A, and it looks like this. So it's basically just two of these. So one side goes to the laptop, the other goes to the USB of the car, and possibly a USB stick. I'll show you guys how to use that as well. So here are the steps. Hit the home button, you go to settings, system you scroll to the right others scroll down detail information about device Click build the number seven times. Once you do that, enter the passcode. Passcode is model number, kernel version, Android version, base band version. As you can see, you are now a developer. Hit back, select developer options, click USB debug mode, hit OK. So for this next step, we have to go into the secret menu. And you do it by hitting this button, this button, and this button all together rather quickly. I'll show you how to do it. That's how you do it. Click this one, detail information and settings. Hold down the menu button. Hold down the home button. Change the roll to device. Next up, we have to connect our USB cable right here. So once you've hacked or Honda hacked uh, the system, you're going to put uh, the K-Tuner app or K-Tuner APK app onto a flash drive. It needs to be at least 100 megabytes. I'm sure you have a flash drive somewhere. So uh, you're going to load it up into this. You're going to go to app list. And this is a new app, Honda installer. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to plug it in to the USB. I'm going to select install an app. Click the folder. Go down. You're going to see this list here. 
and I plugged it into the USB drive in the cup holder so it'll be USB drive 1 I believe USB drive 2 and there it is you click on that and install it after a reboot you're gonna see this right here in the apps list and there she is so once that's installed, we're going to move over here back to the K-Tuner. This is the K-Tuner V2. Of course, you have to make sure you update your K-Tuner software and you update the firmware on your K-Tuner if uh, you have an older version of the software because you should be able to see this BT pin now in the menu system. I'm going to click on that. And you're going to click Disable. So once you've made sure you have an updated firmware on your K-Tuner V2, as that's what I'm using, you go to uh, this app right here. And the way you get to this app, I'll show you guys, is you go to App List, K-Tuner View. This will come up, and then you swipe to the right. You hit Connect. You can see my phone there, and the K-Tuner Flash V2, you're going to connect to that. it is then of course you can play around with the layout We have so many layouts to choose from. Take a look. I'm gonna choose this one. Gotta love it. All right guys, there you have it. Nice and simple, how to install K-Tuner app on your head unit. Hope you guys enjoyed this install and we'll see a lot more where this came from. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.